What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bodark Kikos. This is Josh. We had some babies hit the ground today, so let's go over to Joe's. That's where they're at. Let's check them out. Um, it's a little bit earlier than we expected. I knew some were close, but these are some that we had picked up at a sale and uh, she had her babies. So let's go over, let's check them out. And I'll kind of show you what we do when the babies hit the ground. Uh, these are uh, New Zealand kids. I just got home from uh, work, got all my animals fed. But I want to say we're right at 4,500 subscribers. I appreciate all the new people. Uh, if you can, like, share, uh, do what you can to help us out. We're trying to get to 5,000. Um, and once we get to 5,000, I'll do a giveaway. I'll give away a cap or a t-shirt or something. We'll do something to uh, celebrate having 5,000 subscribers. Uh, we, we keep growing. I uh, appreciate all the new people coming on. Appreciate all my old subscribers hanging with us. But uh, like I said in my last video, we got all them vaccination done. And uh, we're about to start kidding. And it's going to be hot and heavy. We got 58 uh, bread nannies. And we're going to have a lot of kids on the ground. But... I knew that some of these were pretty close. Um, we didn't know exactly when they were bred because we bought them uh, either confirmed bred or exposed. So we got a handful that we don't know when they're going to kid, but we know they're really close. All right, so I made it over here to Joe's house. Um, she's right over here. Uh, we picked this doe up at a sale, and uh, she's got really, really good genetics. And uh, she's a super, super nice doe. But I want to show you guys kind of what we do. So the first day that they're born, we're going to um, we're going to weigh them, and we're going to write all that information down. Here they are. We're going to get them weighed and write that information down the day they were born, uh, and then we're going to take some iodine and we're going to spray on that umbilical cord because that umbilical cord is is long and we'll cut it if we need to but we'll spray that on there to kind of make sure that no diseases can travel up through there she's done a really good job she had two twin dolings which that's 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 what you want two twin dolings uh, she come from a really good farm and we're, we're glad to have her here and we really like what her her body type i'll show you a picture of her when we first got her really like her body type she's got a good bag she had these two kids up sucking cleaned off and doing really good but uh, kidding season has kind of kicked off and uh, it's just kind of a slow start, kind of what we want. But whenever our megawatt kids and BT kids hit the ground, it's just going to be full blown going. All it is is a, is a cheap fish, fish scale. Just zero it out. And what we're going to do is we'll put this baby in the bag and we're going to get its weight <laughs> all right so that first doling she weighed 580. all right all right so we got her weighed now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to trim up this umbilical cord. It's pretty long and then we're going to spray some iodine on it. Just not too short. Yep, yeah, about, about there. There you go. We're going to cut that off and then uh, we're going to spray it with some iodine. Got it? Yep, got it. Well, it ain't that bad. Alright, so we got the other one. And uh, we're going to do the same with it. I'm trying to help Joe here as much as I can. <laughs> hey, they both, they both so I want to show you on this umbilical cord can kind of see how long it is so what we'll do is we'll pull it out we'll just cut that off not all the way off because it'll harden up and fall off and then we're going to spray it just with some regular iodine all 
All right, so uh, we just got them uh, weighed and, and uh, sprayed their umbilical cord and got that taken care of. And one of them's already up sucking, doing good. Both of them are. Mom's taking good care of them. She got them cleaned up, looking good. But So what we did was we wanted, we're going to document all this because for future references, this, uh, she's a New Zealand. That's her tag number. And then the difference in the does, they both weighed exactly the same. One of them has a white spot. And uh, I just wrote the date down. So for when we go to rescue these kids, if we decide to rescue them, and we'll be able to have all this information wrote down for the registration papers. We can keep uh, numbers on them, and we'll see how they grow and progress. But it's very important when you have rescue goats. And if you don't have rescue goats, it's important to know your numbers. So we'll take this in the house, and we'll transfer it over to a more permanent and uh <coughs> When they start dropping kids left and right, we'll start. We'll be weighing. We'll be uh, documenting all this. But they didn't get ear tags. We got some ear tags ordered. As soon as we get ear tags in, they'll be getting ear tags in their ears. That'll help uh, identify them better. I just want to get that on video and show you guys. That's kind of what we do whenever our kids kind of hit the ground. Um, we want to make sure we get that documentation and. Uh, kind of get the numbers on them so if we do rest of them dolings in the future we got it but uh it's fishing to start hot and heavy and they'll be dropping kids left and right it's like i said it's pretty cold here today it's about 40 degrees uh so it hadn't been too bad but we got her under a shelter each pasture that we have and we've got three different pastures of, of nannies and we got a pasture of dolings. That's why I'm, I'm over here by these young dolings now. But we've got pastures, and each pasture has a shelter in it. So they can get in out of the weather, get undercover, have their kids. And that's what she did. She was in a pasture that that uh, had a lean to a barn to it. And she was inside there this morning with them kids. But I just wanted to kind of explain to you why we do the umbilical cord the way we do. That way... Um, no infection can get up in that goat when that cord is so long we snip it off and then we spray it with iodine that'll that will reduce infection that could get into the baby just kind of wanted to share with you guys how we go about taking care of these babies and getting them uh up and going and uh like I said, it's just a start. It's a, sm it's a slow start, but whenever our uh, does that we bred here on our farm start hitting the ground, it's going to be chaos because we've got 58 nannies to kid, and it's going to be uh, a lot going on at, the, at, at one time. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'm trying to get these videos out, trying to share as much as I can. And uh, you know what? If, you, if it helps you out, great. And... You know, other farms do things different than me, and that's that's what they can do on their own farm. We just do what works for us. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, stay tuned. Plenty more videos coming out. And fingers, fingers crossed. Uh, I want to go out here. I think I have my Anatolian uh, bread. I'm hoping so. So if she's bred, I'm going to have some pups, and I want to document that. I've raised pups. In the past, um, it's been a couple years since I've had a litter, and I've had a lot of positive feedback from my dogs. Um, when I've sold the pups, people will come back, repeat customers, want more dogs. And uh, Miley, she's a Brindle Anatolian, I'll try to get her. She's not the type of dog. There's, there she is laying down. But she's not the type of dog you can just go up and pet. She has a job out here. Her job is to take care of these goats. She's not a pet. I don't handle her very much. I just let her do her thing. She sticks with the goats and does a really good job. Uh, so I'm thinking that she got bred. And I'm hoping she did. We'll know here for too long and I'll have some pups. And I really want to document that, that process of how I raise these uh, livestock guard dogs out in the pasture with the goats. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one.